How many times have you heard older women on dating apps say, I know my worth, I'm looking for a man to settle down, or I don't have time to be playing games, I'm looking for something serious. Those are usually the words from a woman that spent decades living her best life or focusing on her career and is now looking for the quote unquote good man to save her from dying alone. Women in their mid-30s and older flood dating apps in hopes of getting any man that breeds and have a level of stability to finally wife them up and become their retirement plan. However, what they fail to understand is men at that age have been burnt so badly by divorces, child support battles, sexless marriages, and countless rejections for decades that men have wised up to the game and are refusing to settle down with a declining woman. In the past, when most women were not in these streets, older women could find men who would marry them due to men being naive about women in the legal systems. But when men started to see their friends and relatives getting cleaned out in the family courts and their so-called loving wives turning against them because they were not happy and for the love of money, men started to wise up to the deception of what was going on. And years later came the men who decided to go their own path movement, which partially sealed the faith of older women who thought they would always have their cleanup man in their back pockets. When you go on dating apps today, there are still thirsty monkey sims giving these older women attention and validation, even though that attention is nowhere near the attention they used to pull in their younger years. The problem that older women are facing are starting to realize the error in following the doctrine of the womanist movement is that men aren't committing anymore. When they were sipping the womanist Kool-Aid, they were told that a man would always be there later on, so it is not a priority to tie themselves down early on with a man. Instead, Focus on your job or career while having as many sexual escapades as possible before settling down. And what did these women decide to do? They decided to put stable men on the back burner and go with the guys who they really wanted in hopes of having them all to themselves. But that didn't go as planned because as soon as social media came and dating apps started to become popular, it was the birth of hookup culture as we know it and the beginning of the slow death of dating and relationships. If there was no hookup culture, then older women wouldn't have been on dating apps struggling to find a man to commit to them. And just remember who is responsible for starting the hookup culture in the first place. It wasn't the men, it was the women. Single-handedly women destroyed the future of dating for themselves and the future generation just because they wanted to get the men they desired and have fun. So my question to these older women who helped to destroy dating would be, was it really worth it? And the sad part is that the same women who helped to destroy dating and relationships are the same women on dating apps today, complaining about where of all the good men have gone. And their daughters, who are now in their late 20s to early and mid-30s, are in the same boat looking for a good man to settle down after following in their mom's footsteps of failure. The problem is none of those men are trying to settle down due to how dangerous divorce has become. And no man wants to wife up a woman who has been ran through by hundreds of men. Men don't want a wife or a girlfriend that's just dating them because the other men she liked didn't want her. And men are no longer willing to risk their money in retirement for a woman who is just in it to finesse and take everything the man worked so hard to accomplish. Men aren't fools anymore, and more and more older women are starting to realize that men have learned to be without them and are much happier being alone. The older women on dating apps that you see today who constantly complain and push off negative energy at one point were strong and independent and didn't need no man. And I want you guys to remember that these women had years to try fixing their destructive behaviors and maybe find a decent man. Never forget that many of these women were once married but thought they could level up on their husbands. So they betrayed their husbands, took his money and kids, and came back into the dating landscape, thinking they would cut the line of all the available women and get a top-tier man all to themselves. But the reality is often cruel because all that awaited most of these post-wall women was hard, stiff pipe, and that's all they received with no commitment. So never feel sorry for any of these women or try to rescue them because they volunteered to put themselves in that position hoping to get a bigger and better deal. Also, men who have money have the option of dating young, fertile and tight-skinned women instead of an old gremlin. So why would men choose to date an older woman when they can get the women in their prime that they couldn't get before? Especially in today's economic climate where we are due for another recession and time is getting hard. Women are selling themselves online for, as coach Greg Adams would say, a fistful of 20s, so why would a man pay more money to have a woman who is worse off physically and is desperate for a commitment? That makes no sense. And again, remember, women are the ones who cause this on themselves by divorcing their husbands for greener pastures and to live their best life. So never feel a shred of sympathy for any of these women, always keep your veins cold and use them for practice and nothing more. Committing to an older woman who spent decades giving her time and body to multiple men and overlooked you as a viable option in their prime reeks of you being desperate. Do not do it. Furthermore, women in those age groups will divorce grape you to kingdom come and take you to the cleaners because they are not wife material. They are just looking for a retirement plan. 
So you have to wise up when you're on these dating apps, and these older women are giving you all this attention. Remember that they used to ignore and disrespect you for laughs and giggles in their younger years. So why is it that now when they are older, they see you as a good option? Exactly gents, it's just them trying to trap you and nothing more. They don't love you. Men f the love out of them years ago after they went past three bodies. All they want from you now is your money and maybe a kid, so never forget that. I could go on to explain the struggles of women on dating apps, but instead, I'm going to let them tell you what it's like dating on these apps. So tap the like button, and let's get into this article by The Guardian. The title of this article is, Online Dating Leaves Middle-Aged Women in Single Wilderness. Susan Quilliam, a relationships expert and agony aunt, said that some women were suffering terribly. On dating sites, men get to pick up and down the age range. They are also much more in a rush to get into a new relationship and are much less likely to give someone a second chance, which may seem callous, but they are much more likely to fall in love quickly. For men, it's a case of you fulfilling the criteria, let's buy the double duvet. Women are more cautious. It's a shame men aim for the younger age range because women of 4 to 5 and 5 to 5 are arguably much more sexually mature and able to give a lot more pleasure than, say, a woman of 25. All right, gents, so here you see it for yourself. On dating apps, women in their 40s and 50s are not being selected over younger women. Shocking, right? I mean, who couldn't see this coming? But again, they did this to themselves so keep ice water pumping in your veins and not feel sorry for them. Let's continue. Match.com research shows that dating is, especially for divorced women, fraught with complication, anxiety, and worry. Looking for second-time love when children are a first priority is a challenge. Nicola Lamond, Netlam's spokeswoman and mother, said, Being a single parent can be pretty tough. Single parents describe themselves as lonely, isolated, vulnerable, and worthless. There is a real sense their world has shrunk. Trying to meet people in bars and clubs can feel like a younger person's game, especially when you need a single friend and a babysitter to get there. But neither does everyone feel that they will find love on the web. Susan Broom is a bubbly woman with a ready laugh who is 48, single, and has now given up actively looking for a man, certainly online, and is not afraid to admit that she does feel the sadness of that. I gave up internet dating when I realized it was only older men who were contacting me, which doesn't really interest me. I prefer men of my own age, but a lot of those men my age are only looking at women in their 20s or 30s. It can be a full-time occupation when you have to really fight to meet the sort of men that are worth meeting because they are the ones refusing to look at you as a potential date. Because if it's anything is possible, Sweet Shop Appeal online dating just encourages men to cherry-pick their ideal, usually younger mate, which is depressing if you're a woman of a certain age. Gents, what did I tell you? Let them die alone. Even when they get a man to contact them and show interest, they still reject that man hoping to get someone better. Hypergamy is undefeated and always will be. She got matched by men probably in their 50s to 70s, and she still didn't want to settle. As I've been saying, let them die alone. I don't even have to say much. Everything I've been saying up to this point is being shown in these women's lives. Let's go over one more article by Evan Mark Katz on why women in their 30s do not want to date men in their 40s. Tap the like button, and let's dive into what these women are saying. My name is Rachel, and I'm a 37-year-old woman who has dated online over the years. I'm attractive, fit, have a job, and so on. I've never been married and do not have any kids. I'm looking for an LTR, but with that said, I'm not willing to settle. I would date a 42-year-old, not a problem. But as you say, men in their 40s are looking for women who are in the 27 to 34-year-old bracket. I do know when I was in my early 30s, anyone in their 40s seemed old to me. Funny how that works out. It's been my experience that I seem to get a lot of emails from the 50-plus and over crowd. To be fair, I'm not looking to date my dad, sorry. And like you said, round and round we go. Well gents, all I have to say to that is die alone. What more do you want me to say? Since these women have all the time in the world, apparently let them do bad all by themselves, I don't care. I would never advise any man to settle down with an older woman because that's a red flag in and of itself. But it is what it is. Let's look at another one. Kim says I am third of four, and it is clear as daylight that waiting this long was a mistake and makes things harder, not impossible, but harder. Yet people constantly advise that you have all this time and to go gallivanting all over the globe, and this is fine unless you know you want a family. I am having a child on my own, and I will tell her to be married by 30 if you intend on having a family. The reality is for the best outcome, you don't have all day. Gents, what more do we need to tell you guys? This is a woman in her 30s that realized that waiting was a big mistake, and now she regrets her decision. Not only that, because she can't find a man to build a family with, she has to resort to getting pregnant on her own.
And as I've said, don't feel sorry or a shred of sympathy for these people. She didn't mention all the guys she rejected who wanted to give her a family and how she lived her best life on the carousel, but we know she was not at home sitting on her wet vice grip waiting for a good man this entire time. Gents, keep the ice water pumping in your heart and live the free agent lifestyle. That's how you're going to win if you choose to date older women. Men who went their own path in monk mode army are winning right now, so don't you dare get weak and commit. I promise you will regret the decision later on if you fail to keep on the path of being a free agent. Tap the thumbs up button, subscribe and share the video. The links to our PayPal and Cash App are in the description box below if you want to donate and support the channel. And remember gents, an unmarried woman past the age of 32 is a red flag.